My name is Ben Broad, I got a story to tell. Are you ready? Then come on and listen well. Many years ago there lived a paladin. He was Prince of the Alliance when the story begins. This ain't a happy story, it's a little dark. This ain't no summer day, this ain't no walk in the park. You see this prince's name was Arthas, aka the Lich King. This is the story of how he became him. It all started with the mysterious plague, only vague reports were all the Alliance Scouts gave. The king sent Arthas to go check out the rumor, and he met up with his college buddy Jaina Proudmura. Arthas and Jaina, yo, they were on the case. They found some crates filled with grain that were poison lace. Suspicious, they looked about as something moved in the forest. Shadows emerged and Arthas yelled, they're coming right for us. That's when the scourge attacked and the fences just cracked and Arthas just snapped. He jumped into act, quickly got trapped. Ghouls in his front and ghouls in his back. Arthas looked up and through the battle, saw a necromancer shadow. It was Galdazan. Arthas gave him a nod. And then he swept the ghouls away and clawed his way towards KT and punched that necromancer straight square in the teeth. KT said, seek Malganus where he makes his home. He controls the scourge for from the city of Strathholm. Those were the last words Kel'Thuzad said. Arthas killed that necromancer with a blow to the head and said, Jaina, I demand that you call the silver hand and Uther will command them and we will purge the damn them. And Jaina said, yo, 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 okay, I'll go. I will go find Uther and I'll tell him what I know, yo. And she teleported away. There wasn't much else to say. They had to go stop the plague and they were coming this way. Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to darkness? Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to darkness? Right then he arrived at Hearth Glen. Looked down, saw a plague grain on the ground again. Arthas took a deep breath, then turned around. He was surrounded by the entire town. Wait a second, said Arthas, filling with dread. This plague doesn't just kill, it turns you into undead. The prince's stomach began to churn. At that second, townsfolk began to turn. Twelve hours later, Arthas barely alive. His royal bodyguards, well, they didn't survive. The undead had him on the ropes, all out of hope. Guess who showed up then? You better check your notes. It was Uther, Arthas' tutor. An incredible maneuver, should've come sooner. He saved the day, but poor Arthas would never be the same. Something clicked in his brain, and they heard him exclaim, Strathold. Malganus is there, he will pay for what he did today. I swear it, then he left, still covered in Ica, heading his bath home all alone. And here is the kicker. And Pikachu's lie on the streets, the plague had been released. Pretty soon the city would be an undead army of beasts. Arthas knew we couldn't let them become scourged. Turned around and shouted, listen to my words. There was only one way to emerge as victors. Surge into the city and purge the villagers. Uther said, are you serious? Your father would be furious. You can't possibly consider this. There must be some other way, Arthur said, not today, there is no other way to save this town, you betrayed the crown, Uther said, fine then, do it alone, I'm taking my army home. Arthur started killing people in the night, they were sleeping, didn't matter, he would kill them on sight, better to kill them now before they turn to undead, so he burned the town down till the skies turned red. Then he found Malganus in the wreckage, he was just seconds from wrecking, and when he said, wait, I have a message, do you think you can get the best of me? Then come to Northland, Arthas, until your destiny. Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to darkness? Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to darkness? Yeah. He went up to Northland, he would chase Malganus and do anything to avenge the death of his people, including doing things that sound a little evil, or at least are a little illegal. But his campaign in Northland didn't go very well. His army kept getting weaker. His soldiers fell, it was bleak, they'd only been there for a week, but they were close to defeat. Arthas was willing to cheat. There was a rumor of a sword full of ultimate power, but the inscription said that it would devour the soul of any that touched it. It was called Frostmourne. Arthas tracked it down anyway, because he'd sworn to kill Malganus. It was worth any risk, including this. So he lifted his fist and gave the sword a twist. It came out of the altar. Arthas did not falter. He ran back to his army with the undead all were. Arthas tore through the undead forces straight to Malganus, of course. The Dreadlord laughed. You think you're winning? When you picked up that sword, you became a part of the lich. And Arthas knew it was true. He was doomed, through and through. I've damned everyone, and everything I've ever loved, and I still feel no remorse. A lot happened after that, he killed his father, but I'm just not gonna bother to wrap the rest. I guess I gotta tell you one last thing, he found the crown of the lich king, put it on his head, and now it's time to sing. Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to darkness? Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to darkness?